action hey everybody I am Steve got a pool I just want to give you some updates on the job that we've been working on uh, we've been out here for a long time and uh, so basically uh, Tom and I were out here today we got all our plumbing lines ran um, so as you can see we got all our plumbing lines ran we're, o we're going over here to the uh, pump and filter area um, so we're wrapping up for today tomorrow We'll come in here, we're gonna redo the manifolds right here. And um, we're gonna add isolated valves on every line. We're gonna add isolate, well, we don't need to isolate this line because it's already isolated, but we'll add ball valves here and uh, we'll get everything all situated. We're gonna redo this corrugated pipe that he's got right here. I, you know, I, uh, the people that built the pool kind of did some weird stuff here. Um, we're gonna basically we're gonna redo it all right, or you know try to do it as right as we can with some uh, SDR pipe, and we'll put a Y fitting here so that way as when he wants to drain his pool, the water will just naturally go down there. And uh, this pipe right now it's it's filled with dirt and grime and everything like that, so we're gonna fix that. So that'll be tomorrow's plan here is to just get everything all wrapped up over here. Uh, we got a little bit of rain coming in tomorrow, so we're probably gonna be working in the rain a little bit again tomorrow, but. Um, yeah, that's what we got down out here. So I just kind of want to, we'll take a walk around and I uh, just kind of want to show you everything. Um, one thing I want to point out right here for our stair lines, this is real important when you're plumbing stair lines. We, we got our main feed line coming out and it comes right down here to a T fitting. And then from there, it disperses out evenly to both jets. Um, you know, we don't want to. You don't want to just kind of run a T there and run one out and then, you know, have another 10 feet of pipe going that way. It just, the water pressure won't flow evenly out the jets. And, uh, you know, we kind of did that with the two returns here in the shallow end. Um, I put a little T fitting in, in the ground right there. And we got equal distance going from that T fitting to both jets. So that way, uh, both those lines will be uh, equal pressure. So... Um, you know, it was real fun. I was climbing in those trenches. I was climbing in the holes and uh, You know, I guess we'll uh, I just want to keep showing you what we did. I mean, so, you know, there's a lot of trenching and uh, We got our pipes laid in the ground and uh, Tomorrow we'll pressure test everything and uh, Make sure that things are holding pressure good and as long as everything's holding pressure good We can start backfilling everything and um, um, I wanted to basically uh, this is a, a junction box for the light here we got our blue bucket over it here um, one of the actual the, the light in the shallow end was bad uh, we, we, the, the bulb we tried taking the bulb out of the fixture and it just snapped right there and we weren't able to get that little receptacle out of the uh, of the light niche so we took our, our light conduit or our light junction box apart tomorrow we'll re-snake a, a brand new light in our light in the deep end we got replaced with a new light bulb and uh, and that'll be good you know to have all new parts a lot of plumbing pipe here folks a lot of plumbing pipe there must have been 500 feet of, uh, of pipe so yeah so let's go take a walk on the inside of the pool and we'll go kind of talk about what we did inside the pool today. You'll get a good shot coming down right here where you can see our pipes kind of going in, tunneling under that concrete down there. You know, uh, you know, I made the choice not to bring in a machine to this job. Um, it was all sand. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to, the customer just had a new driveway put in and I didn't want to, make a big mess bringing in the machines and so we were able to kind of get all that done and you know in here this is where we come in with our pipes and we got you know one going to the stair we got another one coming around over here to this return and you know skimmers skimmers we, we run a two inch pipe and all our returns we do inch and a half pipe helps with the uh helps with getting a little bit of pressure on your returns you know when you're drawing in a lot of water and kind of restrict it down a little bit so it's all nice nice good clean plumbing work 
I definitely want to point out the pool bottom. If you if you've been following along to my channel and you saw what this what this pool looked like when we were taking the liner out, I mean it was just covered in green algae all over the place. There's still remnants of it here and there. What we did was we uh, Tom came in and he poured he poured shock liquid chlorine shock all over and it just kind of he took a brush and started brushing it around kind of kind of working all the working all the algae out of the pool and then he pressure washed everything uh, we pressure washed the uh, the inside of the track where the where the liner clips in um, you know another thing another another thing that sometimes gets overlooked for pool guys um, right here on, on the front face right here so, sometimes these little coping li uh, lips right here get kind of sharp and uh, so it's real important to kind of make sure that you know you're rubbing your finger on the on the joints there and there's nothing sharp and we kind of did that and uh, we scraped all the walls down sprayed rust-oleum I mean we're folks we're in really good shape out here uh, it's a big job big pool big renovation um, and it's just been me and Tom basically out here we've had a couple guys helping along the way here and there but I don't know folks uh, Tomorrow's going to kind of be a, a slow day here. Uh, we're Like I said, we're going to button up all the plumbing. And it's going to be raining a little bit. Thursday, we're going to be doing the liner here. So Thursday, we'll have liner videos. We'll have, you know, liner install videos. And uh, Friday, we're going to finish all the backfilling. We're going to have another crew kind of come out. And we're going to put the safety cover on, close the pool, get it all wrapped up for the winter. So uh, come Friday, this pool will be done, safety cover on, and it'll be sleeping. Folks, I just want to remind you, we're expanding to South Carolina. I got a video out that I put out yesterday where I tried to reveal that information, and literally only about 50 people noticed that. Um, Juliana's Pools is expanding to South Carolina. I want to I wanna reiterate how exciting that is for the company, for people involved, and we're looking for any kind of support if you want to come work with us down in south carolina you could always hit me up if you want a pool built by us in south carolina hit us up and um that's it folks it's it's been a long day um and uh, every day is a long day but it's what we do you know anyway folks i'm steve got a pool aka big dip have a good day